Kirby Queen, and welcome back to Zoo Quest! Yay! It is the first official Zoo Quest episode after the new year! First episode of 2022! Ooh, that was high. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna be super open and real with you guys. Hubby is sick, and I think I'm coming down with what he has. We don't think it's COVID, but we don't really know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm, I apologize <laughs> if I cough. I'm trying not to really, really hard. <laughs> and it's turning night, but I am sure you have noticed something quite different behind me. And that's because I went ahead. Oh, it is definitely nighttime. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Good thing we have a sleeping bag. And we're awake. <laughs> So this was where the mine used to be. We had put the nether portal in the last couple of episodes we were exploring in that horrible place. Well, I went and made it beautiful. So here we have the entrance with my beautiful artist conch that I love so very much. And in here, I made it a little more pleasant. So when we come out of the nether, it's going to look so much better. <laughs> I even added a little pond. And here, because we do have the Twilight Forest mod, and if you guys know anything about Twilight Forest, it's a lot of fun. Um, we are going to put that portal right here. So this is essentially our new portal room. But don't worry, you're gonna get to watch me build it right now. Boop. I hope you enjoyed that replay. I have another one for you. And we'll run around here. <gasps> what is this? What is this? I already know because I built it. Yay! <laughs> so this is the new addition to our sacred oak tree. I kind of made a tree house-ish. <laughs> So here, as you can see, I made a little picnic area. Zazu now has his own little spot. This is Zazu's picnic spot for our picnic parrot. I even put him a nest in the back. Well, it's okay, we got this, we got this. That has eggs in it. I guess we should take those. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> 
and I have a place for plants and I put up these fairy lights which I love we're gonna have fairy lights all over the zoo you guys <laughs> like everywhere and then up here is going to be kind of a relaxation area for us where we might brainstorm but it's also a place where I'm going to put some birds this will be our bird tree uh, where we can put some of our exotic birds from that mod but also I have not completed anything up here so don't get too excited this is where our new enchanting area is gonna go I'm going to bring it out so that we have like a window area. It'll be completely open, so it won't be glass, but an area where we can look out onto the horizon. I'm gonna have a couple of hammocks up here, but this will be our new enchanting area. I'm trying so hard not to cough. <laughs> um, plus reading nook, because for some reason, reading in a tree just sounds like the best thing ever. So that is on our list of things to complete. But I thought this was super cute, and don't worry, there's a replay for it too, and we'll be playing it right now! Boop! We're back I hope you enjoyed that <laughs> so I also went ahead and changed a few things on our notice board to keep track of what we're supposed to be doing because I love to run around like a chicken with my head cut off and I love to find things to do that we're not supposed to be doing <laughs> so finish the garden and orchard I'm going to do that behind the scenes and we either will or will not have a replay you've already seen me build the garden so it's essentially going to be the same thing on that side and I'm going to add trees. Next is to build guest house and windmill. So we found out on Christmas Eve that uh, my parents and my sister might be coming to visit. We already know hubby's going to visit but he's going to be in the boo with us. So we need a guest house and possibly this guest house could come in handy if we hire on some of you guys as potential staff members for the zoo and I could keep you in the guest house until your area is completely ready and then I can move you where you want to be. 
So pretty cool. Something for the future and something that I can incorporate uh, you guys into the game. Just a thought there. Uh, relocate Enchanting Room to the Sacred Oak. That's something I will probably also do behind the scenes and we'll have a replay for. Um, build the greenhouse and dog yard. The greenhouse I will do a replay for behind the scenes. I have an awesome build that you guys are going to love. The dog yard we will probably build together maybe today if we have enough time. Finish office and laundry room. We're doing that today. Yay! <laughs> build the staff teleporter to the zoo. Okay, so that's a new thing. So hubby challenged me to actually start on the zoo for the first of the year. So we need to find a location where we want to teleport to. And I had a really good idea on how to do that with watchtowers because I love the idea of having watchtowers. But each watchtower can have like a car because you can with the Zawa mod, you can have a Jeep or an animal transport vehicle. And so there would be a way at each and every watchtower for you to transport yourself but it'd just be a teleporter and so that way you can go from one place to another really fast and it'll help us out and help me out a lot with not having to boat back and forth everywhere all right it's laundry room time so we're gonna put down our washing machine thank you mr. crayfish for your amazing mod so what this is gonna do is this will allow us to repair our armor and this is technically a dishwasher, but we're going to say it's a dryer. <laughs> and this will allow us to repair any of our equipment that we want to use and don't want to break. So like if I enchant something with silk touch and it's about to break, I can put it in there and we can heal it back up, I think. There was kind of a bug where it did wash off enchantments. Hopefully that's not still a thing. Uh, but yeah. All right. So obviously if we have laundry, we need a laundry basket. Um, we want cabinets to be able to store soap and stuff in. So there's our cabinets. We need a broom because wooden floors get so dirty. And when you have a husky, you need a broom. You need a vacuum, really, to be honest. <laughs> you just need a vacuum. There's our bucket of water for mopping. And that's it. That's our laundry room. Yay! <laughs> that's the fastest I've ever done anything. Now, the office, which I am super excited about. So I've already actually furnished the office, so I'm gonna pull up a screenshot really quick so that I do it correctly. <laughs> but y'all are gonna love it, so hold on tight. All right, I have my screenshot pulled up and ready to go, but first I wanted to show you. I had some lights put in. These are so cool. I love these lights. I also upgraded Ross's tank. His tank now has a bookshelf attached to it. And of course, because <laughs> it's always crab time, Ross has the jukebox right there next to him because he loves his music. So he's gonna be jamming. All right, so we need our desk, of course. Must have desk. I'm gonna put the chair this way. I put that there because that will show pictures of some of the animals we already have. Oh, very, very important. Our clipboard, which I did update behind the scenes. So everything is kind of more accurate to what we're doing. I added, let's see. We're finishing the boo today. We're finishing the office right now. I didn't put laundry room, so I don't get to have that checked off apparently. <laughs> let's see. Yes, I added the staff teleporter. I added pathways and landscape, which I still want to do for the boo, but I'll probably do that behind the scenes and we'll have a replay for it. Um, finish cellar mine, which is practically done. I just have to spruce it up a little bit. But yes, there's our clipboard, which we will actually be using and enjoying. Okay. These, this will be our tool rack for any of our tools that we use but don't want to take with us that day. An item rack to help us out as well. Uh, oh, I forgot something really important. Well, we can get to that. We'll put the chest here. This is going to hold all of our mail and paperwork and things that we need to use to get mail out. Speaking of mail, we probably need to go check that mailbox. I haven't checked it in a really long time. And then here. Oops. This is where we are going to put info on the current animals we are trying to get with the Zawa mod. So I'm, no, not you, poacher. 
I'm just gonna put random ones here for now, but we'll probably pick some and then we'll put their name and what they need to be tamed and we'll put all of the stuff that we need to do that right here. And so when we're ready to go out and get them, we're prepared. I thought that was a cute little addition to the office. And then, oh yes, our writing book, which I haven't wrote in yet. That is awesome. I love everything about that. Anyways, that's actually going to be how we keep track of all the animals in the zoo. Um, it's kind of like an inventory list. That sounds so impersonal, but it's more like a memory tracker for me. Uh, we're gonna put this here with those little booties. I'm hoping to have a better piece of armor there <laughs> at some point. Maybe some green armor. Oh, can we dye armor? I can't remember if I added a mod for that. We've got a disc holder for all of our disc for Ross. Hi, Ross. <laughs> what else? Oh yes, this. I was so proud of this, you guys. I was so, so proud. Okay, 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 okay. Eh. Eh. All right, let's do this in order. That's not in order. That's okay, I know where that goes. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. It's Boo Island! I made Boo Island onto a map so now we can see the whole island every time we walk into our office. Isn't that cool? Oh, I was so proud of that. Oh, the silly things we get proud of in life. Okay, I have disc to put in the disc rack and then all of this stuff we just put away. So other than that, that's the office, you guys, right there. That is so, I'm so proud of that. Okay, I'm just gonna put a few of these things away, go to bed, and then I'll meet you back in the morning. There it is, our beautiful office where we are gonna make plans and magic happen for the zoo. I'm so excited. I even left a spot where we could put our backpack. Bam, super efficient. I love cave sounds. Cave sounds are the best. Well, that was fast. <laughs> So we've got the laundry room and the office done. I'm gonna check that off the list right now. Now we are out in the yard with the puppies. Hello babies, hi Keepa. Hi babe. Okay, so we are going to be turning this area into the dog yard. I want to take the dogs with us on more adventures, especially since we have plenty of zombie meat. But I also want a place where if we don't wanna take them, they can rest, they can wander, they can have fun. They can do things they enjoy uh, where they're not stuck sitting the whole time because that doesn't look like fun at all. So that's what this crate is for. I put together, ignore this though, this. I still need the fences. <laughs> I put together a whole bunch of stuff that they would need as well as some really nice fencing uh, where they'll be happy. Yeah. All right. Let me, let me get myself organized here and then we'll get to work on that. I got myself mostly organized. So we're going to remove these and put them on the other side of the house. And speaking of the other side of the house, I also went, as you can see from that crate, <laughs> I went and did some really, really fun plant gathering <laughs> behind the scenes. I wanted some more stuff for uh, making a pretty home. Okay, so let's see. That is a two by two, essentially. Dark wood? They're both dark wood, but they look really different. <laughs> this is so weird. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, <laughs> we are going to put the house right here. And I built these in my creative super flat world. No. <laughs> So I would have an idea of what to do and I wasn't scrambling like I feel like I'm doing right now. There we go. Okay, that's a start. Then, oh, you know what? You know what? I did that wrong. One second. 12 seconds later. That's how it's supposed to look. I know it doesn't have the roof on yet, but once we've got the roof on, which will be right now. 
nice. And I did test this. They can actually go under there. I know that looks really small, but they can absolutely get under there and it makes them feel nice and cozy. I mainly just wanted to make sure their hitbox could actually get under there. Ta-da! So that is the first pupper house, yay! Okay, so I'm gonna build the other one um, and speed it up just a little bit. not good at all. Uh-oh. Mmm. Well, I may have to move them in one. Oh dear, I didn't think that was gonna be an issue. Ah! Okay, <laughs> enjoy the speed up. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit of an ordeal, but I did manage to get that working a little bit better. I did decide after a little bit of, I don't know, panicking anxiety over the fact that this was a stone, I decided to make these come all the way down. I don't know if I'll do that for the front because it's attached to the porch, but I think that looks pretty good right there, and then I'll do the same over here. So now I'm just going to speed up doing this fence.
and here it is our doggy yard and while i was building it i came up with this really great idea as i'm sure you saw in the speed up i made a little doggy bathhouse. so if they ever get dirty we can give them a little bit of a bath like that <laughs> we can even put soaps and stuff over here if we want to and they've got our, their little water bowls and i'm about to fill this up with zombie jerky here we go guys <laughs> yay so now we can invite our puppies in the doggy yard i haven't decorated it with any of the plants yet and i do need to move this crate because i don't want them playing on that but yes now they have a doggy yard pretty cool huh <laughs> See, Bane, there you go. I just need to get you a green collar, bub, because I think you would look great with a green collar. And Kiba, yours is over there. I also put a chest in the back of their little uh, dog house. So when we do take them on adventures, we can put all of their awesome findings in the chest. And these frames are really cool. You can put an item in the frame. So their best item they find, we could even put it in the frame as a trophy for that week uh, that we clean them off and get all their stuff out of their inventory. Speaking of which, we got a throw bone and we can put that right there to play with later. So now I'm gonna spend a little bit of time of just enhancing this with some greenery and then we should be done. What do you guys think? So I added a little bit of greenery, a lot of bit of green greenery. <laughs> I needed some green. But I'm loving this bathhouse, oh my gosh. And I think Kiba and Bane love it. We've got food in there for them. I'm not going to let them wander just yet because I want to make sure that we're in a good situation um, with the food situation. The situation with the food situation, lots of situations. <laughs> but yes, I wanna make sure we're good with that before I start letting them wander around. But this is their puppy play yard so they actually have a place that they can call their own. Oh, it looks so good. We have our own little yard and eventually we'll have pathways that come all the way through here. This is gonna go straight that way. That's where the greenhouse is gonna be, you guys. So, so many plans ahead. I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna take a second to organize my inventory because it kind of blew up with some greenery stuffs. <laughs> and then after that, We'll try and do the alchemy room if I think we have enough time. If we don't, then it might wait till next time. One eternity later. I'm organized and I am back here by the notice board because I remembered that we forgot to check our mail and I took a peek and we do actually have a very important piece of mail that we need to look at before we are done today. Oh my. <laughs> okay, let's read this. Kate, <laughs> your husband told me that you have started on the zoo. Congrats. <laughs> Little do they know <laughs> we are dragging our feet. I know managing all of that on your own can't be easy. No, it's not. <laughs> As you know, I specialize in managing equipment and making sure it gets to the right place when supplies are needed. I do actually know who this is. So I'm about to tell you guys in a second. <laughs> if you need the help, I could manage the inventory of your food stores for the animals. And with my experience with farm work, I could even help supply the food you need for your more carnivorous critters. If this is something you are interested in, I've also put in a formal application with this envelope. On the topic of applications, have you considered putting out recruitment offers for a security team? It might be a good idea for the safety of animals and civilians. That's actually a really good idea. I can't believe I didn't <laughs> think of that. Uh, I also just so happen to know the perfect man for the job. I bet she does. Let me know and good luck, your friend Naomi. P.S. Miss you. Yes, so my friend Naomi does specialize in equipment management. <laughs> and now we have her official application, so it looks like we're going to have to send her a return message saying, yes, please, <laughs> please help. <laughs> oh my goodness. And 
her husband would be the best for the head of the security team. But this is the stuff I'm talking about, guys. I am gonna need help and we can create y'all as NPCs where you can walk around and you can help in the zoo by being uh, zookeepers, managing certain areas of the zoo and doing stuff like that. So that's one of the things that I want to look at doing with the new year. So there were a couple things we didn't get done in this episode because the dog yard took so long. But what I want to do before we go is I'm going to tell you about the idea that I had for the staff teleportation system we're going to be doing. So I am going to build us a boat, which we're going to dock right here. And this boat will be our teleporter that gets us to the mainland where I'm going to build a watchtower on the edge of the water where we will have that boat as a teleporter and we'll have one of the animal transport vehicles or jeeps to teleport to other locations around the zoo depending on whether it's by water or land that way it's kind of realistic as realistic as minecraft can get so i hope you all like that idea but that is definitely over time i have for this episode with the replays and everything i hope you all enjoyed it if you did please make sure you give the like button a tickle and a poke Subscribe to join our family if you haven't already. And if you have, awesome! I hope you stay a subscriber forever! <laughs> and then jingle that bell if you want notifications of when I post Zoo Quest or Wolf Quest or any of our other series here on the channel. I love you guys! And until next time, bye!